Hey guys, it's Beth, and today I'm making a large welcome sign. I used seven of these pieces of plank wood from Dollar Tree. These sunflower napkins came from Hobby Lobby. I ended up using two of them. These large stencils, they came from Hobby Lobby as well. Some cotton rope, that came from Dollar Tree. Plaster and black chalk paint, I didn't end up using the gray. Mod Podge, hot glue, and a stapler. First thing I did was give all of the pieces of wood a quick sanding. Next, I took a small paint roller and the plaster chalk paint and painted each of the pieces of plank wood. I painted the fronts with two coats and then the rest of it, the sides and the back, I just did one. And you can definitely just use a paintbrush to cover them, it would just take longer. And next, this is where I was gonna use the gray paint, but I decided to just use a pencil. I wanted each piece to have like a shiplap look. So I marked one inch spaces and then used my square to make the lines with the pencil. And after all the lines were made, I just used my finger to blend in all those lines. And then once all those were done, I was spelling out the word welcome. So I just put a letter on each piece. I taped down the stencil, kind of centering it. And then used another paint roller with the black chalk paint. And just lightly rolled, you know, put a tiniest bit on the roller and roll it along each of the stencils. And then once I remove the stencil, I use some painter's tape to make the lines nice and straight and fill in those little gaps that the stencil created. After I had all of the letters on each of the pieces of wood, I took my napkins, removed the second layer on there, and then used some water on a paintbrush to kind of trace out the sunflowers and then just pull apart the pieces. Just tears nice and easy with the water. So I just removed a bunch of the sunflowers. I'll be putting a couple different pieces of the napkin on each of the signs or each of the little pieces of plank wood. So I ended up using two napkins to get enough sunflowers to cover them. Then after I had the napkins ready, I just placed them on each of the pieces, saw where I wanted them to go, and applied Mod Podge to those areas, and then dried the Mod Podge completely. And after the Mod Podge was dry, I placed the sunflower napkins over that Mod Podge. And then I placed parchment paper down over them and ironed each of those little sunflowers. So it reactivates the Mod Podge and seals those napkins down. And I did this to each of my seven pieces. Then once all the napkins were on, I just sanded off the excess napkin. And then once the sunflowers were all on there and sealed on, I used a second layer of Mod Podge covering the entire front of each piece.
Once the Mod Podge was on each of them, I used my heating tool to dry that. And once they were all done, I started by flipping them over and I used this, I think it's macrame rope from Dollar Tree. And I took off enough rope that it would go the entire length of one side, stapled my first piece down on the top, the top one. And I'm using my square to make sure that they're, they're nice and even and they are going to be an inch apart. And then I just left enough for a hanger and then stapled again on that top piece. And then made sure that one was nice and straight and that side was one inch apart as well and stapled that down. And after each piece was stapled, I used hot glue and just put a little bit of hot glue on each of the staples. And then I just kept repeating this process with each piece until I had the entire thing done. Just making sure that everything was lined up first and I had all my letters going the right way. And again, using this square to make sure that each plank wood was an inch apart. And once I was done, I cut the excess rope and tied a knot at the bottom of those last staples and then hot glued those pieces as well. And after I get this done and outside, I will be spraying it with a spray sealer just to protect the fronts of those. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching.